Hello everyone, welcome to part 66 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first creating the e-commerce admin panel and there is one more video on product attributes, uh, sorry, uh, in fact the products, okay, uh, so here I have mentioned wrong, products module, okay, so there is one more video on the products module and that is the products roles and permissions, okay, so see, uh so uh we need to do this one uh because this is uh, important uh, and uh i'm going to show you that this one we have already done see sub admins we are going to give the access to the sub admins uh we have done with the uh with the categories so far with the cms pages as well okay and admin can give access to the sub admin uh for various features for various modules okay and for the uh, for for the products as well the admin can give the access here i'm going to show you like if we will click on this sub admin we have created these two sub admin means admin created these two sub admin and admin can able to give the permissions to these sub admins like i i have opened the john sub admin and for cms pages and for the categories we have given the permission like for the categories we are given the full permission view view edit and full assess means uh, the sub admin can able to delete the categories as well and in the case of cms page we have not provided any kind of permission to the john okay so in the same way we are going to add here the products as well so that we can admin can able to give the permission for the sub uh, for the products module as well so that's why this one is pending so we are going to do this one uh, I'm going to write it like this products roles and permission okay so after this we are going to start working on the brands module okay so this one is the last video for the products okay uh, so let's start uh, first of all uh, we are going to modify the products function uh, I'm going to check the products function in the products controller so let's open the products controller and here I am going to check the products function and I am going to open the category controller as well so see much of the task is now the copy paste so that it will save lot of our, our time no need to do everything from scratch every time okay so see set admin sub admin permission for categories here I am going to copy this one and we will put it in products function after this I am going to put it here and after that I am going to make some changes okay so here uh, so here I'm going to make like categories uh, I'm going to replace uh, these categories with the products okay so like this I'm going to replace this one as well with the products okay in the same way uh, this one is fine uh, this one is products is fine okay products module fine I'm going to see uh, here products it will come as products as well uh, permission for products i'm going to search for the categories as well that like so this one is fine uh, and i'm going to uh, some okay so i'm going to check it here yeah it's fine okay so this one we are going to uh, pass this products module uh, here to our products.play.php file products.play.php file and here uh, we are going to add the permission here as well okay so i'm going to open the categories.play.php file and here you can see that we have provided uh, the permissions here okay so the same thing we are going to do here as well so what i'm going to do uh, here td of td uh, okay so here i'm going to add this one and instead of uh, uh, this categories module products module will come uh, we are going to make this change and other than this uh, this one uh, we are going to add in the case of add edit okay so i'm going to add it here and the last one uh, in the case of full access then uh, the uh, admin can able to delete as well okay so i'm going to add this one here okay so uh, last we are going to uh, here add the end if okay so what i am going to do everything seems to be fine and here i am now i am going to change this categories module to the products module okay fine so 
now I'm going to uh, refresh here once that there must be no issue though we are going to check in sub admin okay admin role we may we are required to add the admins role uh, like we have added here uh, okay model admin role model here we are going to add it like this okay so auth as well we are required to add in product controller i'm going to add the auth as well i'm going to check now now it seems to be fine okay uh, see i'm going to check the products so it seems to be fine but here i think uh, that thing is missing uh, one thing is missing here session value is missing that we are required to put here so that we can able to select the products at the left sidebar okay uh, and this one is also required in case of add edit so that we can able to select the products every time when products get selected okay so here you can see uh, session is also required so all these kind of uh, uh, we are required all these kind of things see session db image auth okay so now you can see now we able to select the products at the left sidebar as well okay and uh, now what i'm going to do i'm going to open the admin roles okay uh, where we are going to add uh, these permission okay i'm going to check its page once again update role sorry update role and i'm going to update it now with the uh, products as well like we have updated for the uh, for the cms pages and the categories and now this time i am going to modify for the uh, for the products as well okay here i'm going to add it and here i'm going to add products uh, categories i'm going to replace it with the products as well and here as well i'm going to copy this div and we'll paste it and we'll replace it like i'm going to replace i'm going to select this one products and here as well so i'm going to check now the other module has been added now i'm going to give permissions to the john first i will give, not give any kind of permission to the john there is no permission given to the john so see sub admin role operator successfully by the admin now i'm going to open the john account okay so let's see john can able to uh, see the products or not so now the john must not able to see the products so let's see uh, because the admin not given any kind of products permission to the john so the john must not see the products so let's see john is going to click on products and there must be no access let's see no says yes it's fine this feature is restricted for john okay so it is saying this message to the john saying that this feature is restricted for you which feature products feature okay now we are going to give the view says now the admin is going to give the view says to uh, to the john for the products and now i'm going to see uh, that john is having the view says for products yes it's fine now i'm going to give the view edit access here you can see there is no actions here the john can only view but can't edit and one more thing we need we are required to add see john can't add the product as well so here also we are required to add the condition i'm going to see whether we have added the condition there yeah we have already added the condition here so this condition i'm going to add uh for the products as well for the add products okay so here also we are going to add this condition uh, so the john can't add in case uh, he don't have that edit and full access permission so he can't able to up uh, add the products as well okay so here it will come like products module so now we are going to check here uh see here he don't have this one okay he uh, he can't edit he can't add he just view because only view permission is given to the john so now we are going to give the view edit permission okay so let's see now this time there must be add permission as well john can able to add the products john can able to edit the products as well john can able to make the products active and inactive as well okay so now these permissions uh, are given to the john and now finally full access is given to the john now the john can able to delete the products as well okay you can see delete icon has also come up for the john okay so the permissions are working for the products as well we able to add the roles and permissions for the products 
okay so that the sub admin can able to get his own permission set by the admin okay so in the next video we are going to start working on the brands okay every product is having some brand so it is mandatory to add brands for the e-commerce website so stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye